AccuCare Physical Therapy and Sports Medicine in Brick, New Jersey offers a state-of-the-art facility with all the best and current treatments. With athletic trainers, massage therapists, and doctors of physical therapy, AccuCare has everything you need to stay healthy and perform at the highest level. Cupping, stretching, laser therapy, compression boots, and a full-body cryo chamber are just some of what you can expect at AccuCare. Check out their website and social media links in my bio. No prescription is needed to see them. So so call them today and start feeling and performing at your best. Again, thank you to AccuCare for sponsoring the Shore Football Report. Everybody, this is Rob Davis from the Shore Football Report. We got so much to do. You are watching the Shore Football Report's All Star Package Teams, and we're going to have so many news, and we'll talk a lot about it. But first, I want to do something. I want to thank, all right, I want to thank AccuCare for being our title sponsor for the whole 2022 high school football season. Couldn't have did anything without you. And of course, number one, the owner and founder, Pam Anthony, and her tremendous staff. They've been great. They've been great to us all year. I love the fact that what they do with their athletes on the side, where they work with the athletes all year round, with rehabilitation and recovery, and I love their top-notch facilities, which you guys need to go watch and, and, and go utilize, and also the way they communicate with their athletes. There is definitely a connection, a bond. They're winners. They're winners. And I knew that. So I wanted to expand the Shore Football Report in the second year in existence that we had. So I did two major additions to the Shore Football Report. One was AccuCare. AccuCare became our title sponsor, and the rest is history. They've been tremendous with us. They, The, the one thing I, I really like is that what they do is they donate, okay, the overall players of the week get a free recovery session. And the athletes will be going in there if they won uh, the winners of each week overall in the short conference, and they donated that. And watching them work in there and bonding with, with that great staff was, was tremendous. I loved watching that. and I'm proud that they're part of our, our team. The other hire that we got was Scott Stump. Scott Stump came on to our, 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 the Shore Football Report, and he was an incredible addition to our staff. And um, I am blessed to have both of them, Scotty Stump and AccuCare. I couldn't have did it without you guys. I owe you a lot. I really owe you a lot. And, um, you know, you know, I'm very, very loyal to you guys, and I appreciate everything that you have done. Pam Anthony and, and the Acu, and Acu, AccuCare staff, thank you. Thank you very much. You guys need, all athletes need to go to AccuCare and work out there, rehabilitate, recovery. All athletes, guys, girls, winter sport, spring sport, of course, high school football, get to AccuCare and Brick. You know our commercials that we that we post out, uh, you know, throughout the weeks and all that stuff. And you're going to keep hearing me throw out AccuCare and this and that. And we're going to have a big, big commercial that we're going to do us and AccuCare for you guys. And they're there. They're centrally located in between Ocean Monmouth County and Brick, and just a great spot. And it's a great place to just get better as an athlete. I love the fact that you're not only taking care of your body and the mind, too. It's a focus. It is an attitude. And they're winners. And I just am so proud to be around them. Now, let's talk about the Shore Football Reports All-Star Packages. Guys, I was a head coach and assistant coach for 27 years. 27 years. So I've been on the committees. For 10 years, I was a rep. The last 
attendees of my coaching at Barney. I was a rep where I was involved in all the different all-star team committees. And it bothered me. It bothered me that there was always that cutoff. There always was a cutoff. In other words, you might do only first team. You might stop at second team. You don't do honorable mentions. You pack up and you leave. Well, there was a lot of names that I used to see on the board or on the table that were left off that, you know, wondering, you know, maybe those those players and those parents didn't know that they were being talked about but just missed those all-star teams. So when I started the short football report, I loved to play Santa Claus. I loved to play Santa Claus. So – what I did was I expanded the teams. I added more team players on each team, and I expanded the teams. So let me talk about what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to present 30 all-star shows starting December 13th, and let's talk about it, all right? December 13th is going to be all division teams, and each division gets their separate show, seven different shows. We're going to have... First and second teams for all division. And then we're also going to have award winners for each division. I pick an MVP, an offensive player of the year, defensive player of the year, special teams player of the year, O-line, D-line player of the year, um, sophomore or freshman player of the year, and unsung hero is a player who just doesn't get all the, the accolades, the ink, and all that type of stuff by the media like yours truly or others out there. But they're definitely, definitely going to be recognized. And we pick one for each division. We have fun with that. All right. So December 13th, we're going to do an all-division team. Seven different ones. I don't like to put one big one. Seven different ones. You can just watch your division or you can watch all of them separately, though, with that. Two days later, December 15th, I do an all-county. Two, uh, two um, Ocean and Monmouth County. And with that, we'll have four teams. We'll have 14. So you're talking about 152 players for each county getting recognized. 152 for all county. Two days later, we pick an all-shore team, five teams. And we are going to have 190 players on that. So those are all separate shows. And then we do an all-region. And that's new. The all-region is something I thought of that these local newspapers cover certain high schools in areas so I figured, let's make a region out of it. I put, I picked 10 regions, and I put teams in regions, and you're going to see an all-star team in those regions. Example, the Tom Driver School District, all three Tom Drivers in Donovan, the Freehold School District. You're going to have, you know, um, you know, the south of the border, central Southern, Lacey, Pinelands, and Barnegat. So I clump it in, and what it does, it just puts different groups of guys in, and I make an all-star team out of those. Where your local newspapers are covering it, I'm making all-star teams of that. It's fun. I know it is. Trust me. I enjoy doing it. You're going to love that. But there's going to be one team for each one of those regions. So there'll be 10 regions. There'll be one team for that. Um, I got I got a all groups. So if you're group one, group two, three, four, five, or non-public, you're going to be non-public, uh, all non-public in the short conference, all group five, all group four, all group three, two, or one, and I'll have fun with that. So you're going to be grouped in with different groups of players, and you'll be able to make an all-star team with that. And then the last one, which everybody loves, everybody loves, is how are you in terms of each grade level? So I'm going to have an all-senior team an all-junior team, an all-sophomore team, and you got it, an all-freshman team will be on the Shore Football Report. A lot of names are going to be there. Over 266 players will be mentioned in all those teams. Going to have a lot of fun. And I like to call it the holiday season, postseason all-star teams. All right? I love to play Santa Claus. So here I am. All right? Santa Claus is coming real soon, and so is my all-star teams. Make sure you go on the shorefootballreport.com .com, and look at all the all-star teams, and don't wait for Coach Dave to send you the links. Go there, do yourself a favor, go to that website, and check out when those all-star teams come out. And remember, it's not about you and I, it's about the kids. And the kids are the important ones. They supplied us. 
with so much entertainment, wins, losses, whatever it is. High school football is the greatest sport out there, and you did a great job. All the all the coaches, all the players, all the fans. I'm wishing you Merry Christmas and enjoy everything. And the Shore Football Report definitely appreci appreciates all of you guys. All right, make sure you go to AccuCare too. That would be a great Christmas gift. See you later. Hello, everybody. I'm Rob Davis, the Shore Football Report, and I will be presenting the AccuCare 2022 All Freedom Division Postseason Individual Award winners, and then we will present the first and second team all division for the freedom division. Let's get right into it. MVP. Our MVP for the freedom division goes to the co Temple Commit quarterback, defensive back, senior Ocean Township, Tyler Douglas, big, strong kid, 6'1", 195. When I seen him over the summer to see how he, how he uh, improved his game, and he just – he just looked like he went after it in the offseason. Like, he's like a dude. When he gets on the field, you know exactly who the Division One kid is on the field. Tyler looked great, worked his tail off, and had a tremendous senior season and led Ocean Township to the Freedom Division Championship and also an appearance in the South Jersey Group 3 State Playoff where he did not get a chance to play because he hurt his shoulder and he did not play in that game, and it hurt him there with that. Um, Tyler had 1,257 yards passing and 13 touchdowns and ran for 1,031 and 15 touchdowns. His importance to the team was more than just its statistics, uh, which was obvious in the state playoff game when he did not play and they got beat pretty, pretty bad. But Tyler was a leader on and off the field, um, doing all those RPOs for Coach Klein and Coach Reed. Uh, on defense, His when he was playing there, his presence would make you want to go to the other side. But he had a tremendous senior season. And guys with, with that commits like that, uh, that's really good to see because he just elevated his game, and that's that. He is a big-time football player um, in the state of New Jersey. And I'm proud to have him as the MVP of the Freedom Division, the quarterback, defensive back, senior from Ocean, Tyler Douglas, the Temple Commit. Offensive Player of the Year goes to the quarterback, junior from Brick Memorial, Connor Dietz. Connor had one of the best offensive seasons in a long, long time in the short conference. What did Connor do? He just passed for two... 2,083 yards and 13 touchdowns and ran for another 1,858 yards and 23 touchdowns. That's a total of 3,941 yards and 36 touchdowns. He came just a couple, uh, hundred and actually 142 yards short of rushing to get 2,000 on both passing and rushing. That's only been done by Ashante Worthy of Freehold Borough. So that was a great accomplishment he was gunning for with that. But he does have one more year, and he is so smooth with the RPOs, does a really good job. He always keeps every play um, every play active with his eyes down the field, a broken plays. He's a smooth competitor. He's a lot stronger than people realize, and he's a fierce, fierce competitor. Our offensive player of the year is junior Brick Memorial quarterback Connor Dietz. Uh, defensive player of the year goes to a guy to, that had the best defense in the Freedom Division um, in terms of points given up a game and goes to a six foot four, 200 pound junior outside linebacker, Jacob Toy. And Jacob is a going to be a Division I prospect this spring. Just by his body length, he, he's got a big wingspan, um, he covers a lot of ground. Uh, a very, very good athlete. He had 51 tackles, seven hits behind the line of scrimmage, one fumble recovery, four pressures, three and a half sacks, one interception. 
um, on defense. And again, he was the, the leader of the top defense in the Freedom Division. Um, on offense, he had 150 yards rushing and also 19 catches for 254 yards. And again, like I said, he is going to be a kid that is going to be on the tips of many, many Division One double A football programs. Jacob Toy is the Freedom Defensive Player of the Year for the 2022 season. Special Teams Player of the Year is go going to our senior senior kicker punter from Red Bank, uh, Gian Carlo Dogtage, and he just what did he do? Led them to the South Jersey Group Four Regional Tournament, where they won that tournament. Outstanding job. They were 7-4 and four this year. He had 50 points kicking, six field goals, and he had a 33-yard, was his longest one, and 32 extra points. Very good field goal kicker, and he also is a threat kicking the ball deep uh, on kickoffs. Great job by Gian Carl, who is our special teams player of the year from Red Bank. Now, the O-line, D-line, player of the year. Goes to a guy that was a tight end, and he played defensive line, senior ocean, Shane Garrett. 6'2", 235, an athletic body in a lineman, um, an athletic ability in a lineman body is what Shane Garrett is. Now, not too many D linemen are, are playing skill position, but Shane was running pass routes from a skill position on the other side of the ball. Just a tremendous Tremendous um, skilled kid in, in that lineman body right there. 6'2", 235, like I said. He had five catches, 123 yards, and a touchdown. Had 75 tackles and uh, was a uh, very, very tough against a run and pass. Um, and, and, and really, in passing situations, there wasn't that many people that much better than him in the state of New Jersey from a defensive tackle position. Russian, the quarterback. Our outstanding offense alignment, defense alignment player of the year who will be signing somewhere very, very quickly because I know a lot of colleges are on him is Shane Garrett from Ocean Township. The top sophomore freshman player of the year goes to an actual freshman linebacker from Brick Memorial, Trey Talmadge. Six foot 170 and being a freshman and playing the inside linebacker like he did at Brooklyn Memorial did a great job. Here's some stats for you. 111 tackles, 15 hits behind the line of scrimmage, 9 pressures, 2 fours fumbles, and 1 fumble recovery for only a freshman. Those are outstanding numbers um, for a kid that's got 3 more years still to play football. Very high football IQ. And, uh, again, a very, very fierce competitor. Coach Curry is smiling right now because he's got that that quarterback of the defense that's going to be able to, uh, you know, roam the grounds for the next three years. The outstanding freshman who is the freshman player of the year um, from Brick Memorial, Trey Talmadge. And the last award is the unsung hero. Goes to a guy that is a um, – that is a star in their football team, but doesn't get as much ink uh, as he should, you know. And and that's the fault of a lot of the media guys. And that goes to senior quarterback Red, uh, from Red Bank, Pierce Olson, 6'3", 170. You know, Pierce was kind of overshadowed a little bit by other – this was a, a very high quarterback's division, and um, he got kind of a little overshadowed a little bit. But what did – what did he do this year? He led his team to a 7-4 record. They went into the South Jersey Group 4 Regional Tournament, and they won it. And they won it. And Pierce did an outstanding job facilitating Coach Cavanaugh, the offensive coordinator's offense, with his RPOs. And the thing I liked was his leadership on the football field and also his legs running the football. He ran for 230 yards, but... Enough about that. He threw for 1,475 yards and 17 touchdowns. He had a tremendous, tremendous senior, se senior se uh, season, and he should have got more ink 
than what he did. And that's why I'm naming him the unsung hero of the Freedom Division. Pierce, you had a great season and well-deserved. The outstanding senior quarterback from Red Bank, unsung hero, Pierce Olsen. Now, let's get to the rest of the All-Freedom team, first and second team. 